a lovely slow gentle rain all day today I think it's supposed to rain off and on for the next three or four days it's real real light rain you can barely see it until you step outside then you feel it very nice we do need it so it's cooking time getting ready to make Mexican cowgirl stew Woohoo! Right here are my pinto beans that I soaked because I like the texture of those better than canned, but you can use canned. Because I have whole charro beans back there. Poblano peppers. You can use ranch style beans. That's what a lot of people do. I have a jalapeno if I want to add that. See, this stuff is all here because I'm going to use most of it, if not all of it. I just don't have a recipe, y'all. I just go with the taste as it goes along. Diced basil, garlic, and oregano tomatoes. Now, I just got these out to show you. If you don't have fresh peppers, you can just get a can of little chili peppers. Rotel. And jalapeno black beans with lime juice now I might put this in I might not we'll just see it's already gonna be pretty beanie but with the poblano pepper I'm definitely putting one probably not two I will roast this on the stove because I want the roasted poblano flavor now I have this pepper stir-fry mix that I'm gonna saute it was only a dollar at the Dollar Tree just easy and cheap so that's what I decided to do I also got these hot smoked sausages from the Dollar Tree so one dollar two dollars three dollars you know and I got the ultimate Southwest blend which has petite, super sweet corn, black beans, mild poblano chilies, red peppers, roasted onions. So that's what I mean. I'll see how all this, I probably will not add the can of black beans, but I wanted to show it to you if you want to use that. Just showing you some options. And my chicken bouillon is going to go in the crock pot while I'm cooking those. Onion lots of garlic and what I have back here are elbow noodles but when it's done I like to pour the cowgirl Mexican stew over the noodles another thing you could do is you could make a big batch of mashed potatoes put it in a bowl create a little hole pour the stew in there yummy that sounds good doesn't it <laughs> and I have ground beef now you know this was the most expensive part of this whole thing <laughs> it's 2.25 pounds it was eight dollars and 62 cents not too awful bad and I probably won't use all that I, I don't know depends on how, how carried away I get and I tend to get really carried away <laughs> I end up with a big pot but that's okay I like to share Okay, well, let's get rolling, tubies. I'm going to pour these into the crock pot, cover them with water, add some chicken bouillon, and get those going, get those cooking for about three hours on high. And while that's happening, I'll gradually slice up the sausage and saute it a little bit so it gets a little char on the edges cook the hamburger you know start cooking these things and the onion and the garlic but right now i need to get those beans going oops out of propane okay had to go switch the tank over 
So here I'm going to be roasting the poblano. I'm not going to show you a lot. If you go back and watch some of my other videos, you see me doing this. You know, this is not necessary, you guys. It's just what I do. Because <laughs> I love the taste of these when they're roasted. It makes the bungalow smell so good. Marie's hungry. You don't even have to use poblano peppers. Again, it's just what I like. You know, the thing about cowboy stew is you pretty much put anything you want in it. It's about what you like. Ooh, listen to all that popping goodness. It's a rainy day today. Just light rain all day. I've got some candles lit. It's a great day for cooking something like this. Cool outside. So I don't mind doing extra things and taking my time. It's what I like to do on days where it's rainy or snowy. It soothes me. It's all about self-soothing. Okay, Mr. Pepper is properly blistered. In the bag he goes. Get in there. That heat will continue to soften and cook the pepper and then I can scrape off the burnt skin. Wonderful and it smells so lovely in here now. Okay and go the sausage. Skinless and extra tender. <laughs> okay I know looking good we'll have something to say about that. Okay, you can see I got the char game going. I think I'm going to cut those sausage pieces in half because you might not want that much extra smooth and tender sausage in your mouth <laughs> in, in one bite, even though there has been some shrinkage. Uh, yeah, I think it'd be better to cut them in pieces sauteing some garlic now for the main cowboy of this show ground beef you can see all my spices back there that are going to go in let me wash my hands I would have sauteed onions with the garlic but I'm going to hold off on the fresh onions for a minute because I have those frozen onions and peppers and their onions in the southwestern corn mix. So I have ground paprika, a little bit of that. Now, most people put chili powder in this. I don't happen to have any. I'm surprised by that. Plus, I don't want this tasting like chili. Nolan's Cajun Seasoning. Yeah, that's yummy. And that seems to have a little chili powder in it, actually. Some ground cumin. Now, I'm doing this to spice up the meat. But I'll add seasonings as required to the crock pot after it cooks for a while. Oh, habanero hotness. A little bit of this will do you. I love this stuff, but it is very hot. So that's good for now. Don't think we need garlic powder. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Black pepper. And my six pepper blend. Love this stuff too.
And to kick it up another notch, Chipotle chili pepper. This stuff has a kick. But I like it better than cayenne. Why? Because it's Chipotle. And I love Chipotle. So we'll let that cook and we'll taste it and see. I know it's going to be good. I'm not worried. Not one bit. Because I like Fat Cat's food. <laughs> I guess I better, huh? I drained off most of the grease. And now I'm going to add the basil, garlic, oregano, diced tomatoes to the beef. I'm making this stuff in advance to pour in here when the beans get further along. I had to try the charro beans. Okay, uh, nothing fancy. Just mushy ass pinto beans with a slight hint of the jalapeno. So slight I mean this is nothing to get excited about here that looks like onion in there too I'm gonna to put in one can but what I'm gonna do is mash those beans up since they're so soft that way this will be this will serve as kind of a thickening so when you make this just look for ranch style pinto beans because I normally cook from dried and I add all this business here. <laughs> so, see, I'll take all that and mash it up and make some thickness out of it. Okay, so it has lumps in it, but I just mashed it up with the fork. See, it is thick. That'll be a, that'll serve as a thickening agent in the pot. I need one of those blender sticks or whatever the heck they're called <laughs> I've been saying that for two years or three just haven't gotten one but hey the old timers had to find ways to get things done see it's nice and thick that's gonna be perfect really it just didn't really have anything that made it taste charro to me yeah baby all right good dealio okay these peppers are kind of big yeah who wants that in their mouth <laughs> snip snip and the problem is solved I should have known when it said stir-fry but hey I don't care the whole bag was a dollar and you know this is going to be in a stew type dish anyway where your peppers do get soft and mushy so i didn't see the sense in getting fresh and spending the money on that because yellow and red peppers are pretty pricey smells good and peppery in here Corn, black beans, and some more peppers. Now you could just get a can or two of that Fiesta corn. This was cheaper though, so that's why I went that route. See, looky there. Now that needs to cook. Or several more hours and let it do its magic in the crock pot you see there's a lot of meat that's how I always make my stuff with a lot of meat that's why the dudes like it <laughs> all right that looks pretty good to me but we'll adjust seasonings in a few hours after I taste things